Hi, I'm Michelle, this is Heartbeats, and today I'm talking to Greg Watson, and I'm checking out his band, and we're talking all about drumming, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, when did your journey with drumming begin? Uh, must have been, I was in grade 7, so 11 years ago. Wow. How long have been out of school? Yeah, I was, uh, I was about in grade 7. Um, started then, just picked up sticks and started smacking it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you self-taught or did you have a tutor? Um, no, I went to a drum academy. Um, the drummer of Dan Petlansky, uh, his name is Andy. I went, I studied with him at Marshall Music and then he opened up his own academy and I went okay. to that academy. Um, and I was a top student there, which is quite cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, actually I studied drums part-time for about two years, uh, getting hardcore to theory stuff. So, um, self-taught in some aspects, but yeah, I, I like it. Okay, what is the hardest part of uh, learning for you and the best? Polyrhythms. Polyrhythms. Those are hard. And it's, uh, how do you explain the polyrhythm? It's two time signatures at the same time, pretty much. How do you do that? Okay, so you layer them. Yeah, so you, so like you, you've got the standard one, which is uh, a three against four. So you're playing uh, a feel in three, so a triplet five. Yeah. Um, against four. Uh, so it just sounds, double time yeah, so you keep your four and oh. so it's two times signatures over each other. Polyrhythms can be quite intense to learn. It's kind of like a tapping head rubbing belly kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. it. <so. laughs> so it's two time signatures over each other. Yeah. So uh, if you're counting in three, you're playing a triplet, so one to two to three to four to two. And if you're counting in four, you're playing eighth notes, so one and two and three and four yeah. and. Mm. So now you're playing those two over each other pretty much. Okay, cool. So you get the... So you've got your four over here, so one, two, three, four, and then your triplet four over there in the same. That's a polyrhythm pretty much. That is really complicated. <laughs> you can play that in like a thrash middle way. Uh, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what has been your greatest challenge and has it made you stronger? Uh, I have a nerve ending and muscle disorder. Oh, okay. Um, so I've had to invent my own hand technique and my own foot technique. So that's been a bit of a fucker. So that's been a bit of a hard one because um, I've had three foot reconstruction operations actually. Wow. So uh, getting back into the whole swing of things once I came out of cast and all that was quite hard. But yeah, developing my own hand technique was probably the hardest. Thing. And what is your hand technique compared to you? Um, the normal. stick. Normally you, you grab, you have a fulcrum point like that. Yeah. Uh, so you use your thumb. I don't use my thumb. Oh, I've noticed that, yeah. I've yeah, so I don't play like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's excellent. It works. <laughs> it works, yeah. <laughs> Alright. What advice would you give to somebody who's learning drums right now? Don't give up. Literally. Yeah. Like uh, with a basic beat that you learned to <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Sit and do that for hours. Just yeah. never give up. Just yeah. keep going, even yeah. though you think I'm never going. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's yeah. perseverance, that's the only thing. There's no shortcut for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try this. Uh, just play with your right hand on here. That uh, hold down the pedal there. Okay. Uh, the that one. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, just play four on here. One, two, three, four. On the one, hit the bass drum, and on the three, hit the snare drum. <laughs> All right. Okay. So go. Wait. Okay. Ah. You're 
first beat. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> now try this. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's like every instructional video ever. It's like, start out with this. And yeah. then Thomas Lang comes on. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've mastered this after playing it for two seconds, you should be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, I like this kind of example. The groove I've been working on. I've, I've showed it to you guys before, but let me show it to you. So, prepare to have your mind blown everywhere. <laughs> you start off with your mind. You wear a helmet. So from there you go to... Quite easily done. Quite easily done. As you can see, the transition is quite simple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys write sheet music where you just learn off by uh, just uh, I write memory, you know? I write sheet. I've mm. actually got one of my charts over there. I well, I could read music at one stage, but if I looked at it now, I'd probably be going like at the start, like B, G, D, D. Okay, so that's an E. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's one of my charts. Oh, cool, man. So when you read? No, no, no. It's one I learned. Yeah, I also, I only use, uh... Oh, this is very similar to what I'm using. But it obviously, yeah. It's drums. Yeah, I only use the sheet stuff for loading stuff. I don't ever rank my own stuff down. See, then you get a problem like this. <laughs> and then is every, like, uh, line of the snare got, like, a different, a different instrument to sound different drum? Yeah. So that's all on the snare drum. Oh, okay. That's another pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Snare drum solos. Oh god. Okay, and then guys, that's, that's snare, hey? Or snare drum. Snare drum. And then bass. Snare drum. Snare drum. Guys, China, crash, crash, hi hats. This is a fun one. And then when you hit, you hit the top of this or something, you make a really high pitch sound. It's a bit of a bell. Yeah. Uh, 